Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. Today we're going to start a new series, File Upload Vulnerabilities. By the end of this series, you're going to learn file upload vulnerabilities or you will die trying. So let's get started. Remote code execution via web shell upload. So after the web shell upload, we should be able to do RCE. This lab contains a vulnerable image upload function. It doesn't perform any validation on the files users upload before storing them on the server's file system. So to solve the lab, upload a basic PHP web shell and use it to exfiltrate the contents of slash home slash carlos slash secret. So let's copy this one. We need the contents of this one. Submit this secret using the button provided in the lab banner. You can log into your own account using the following credentials, Wiener and Peter. So let's access the lab. Let's copy this and let's open it in Burp browser. All right. So let's log in first. My account, Wiener and Peter. Okay, I have logged in. So here I can upload my avatar. So I click on choose file and I go to desktop, CTF, port swigger and file upload. So here I have an image called solo.png. So I'm going to upload this. So select and upload. So as you can see, the file avatars solo.png has been uploaded. So if I click on back to my account, I can see that image over here. So this functionality can upload files. As of now, we know that it upload images, but let's see if it can upload any files. So we know that we need the contents of this file. So the file is secret and it is located in slash home slash carlos directory so in order to create a simple web shell i can use php less than question mark php so this is the starting of the php syntax and you can end the php with question mark greater than so whatever you write in between this will execute as php code so here all i need is the contents of this file so i can simply say file get contents and I can say single quote, paste it, single quote. So this is an inbuilt function in PHP that gets the contents of the file. So usually we use this to store it inside a variable. But here we don't want to store it in a variable. We just want to print it. So in order to print, we can use echo command. So echo is like print function for PHP. It will just print whatever is there in the output. So this will be our code that gets the contents of the file and prints it to the response. This file upload feature is a very powerful vector for a number of high severity attacks. So you can find it very common. And here I did not save that file. So let's go to terminal. I have those two files. I'm going to create a new file called virus.php. This is the syntax. I'm going to save it by pressing Ctrl X Y enter cat virus.php you have that contents of this file so let me directly upload this i can choose file upload virus.php and click upload as you can see this file has been uploaded and i can click on back to my account and here i can see a broken image so i can right click that broken image and i can say open image in new tab so this will open whatever the file that i just uploaded which is virus.php and I can click here and I can see that this is the file location and as you can see in the browser we got some string and this must be the secret of Carlos user so I can submit solution here and the lab will be done and as you always know we are here to not solve this lab we are here to learn right I'm going to tell you a few things you need to know about files first of all types of files so here in this website, we have something called MIME types. So MIME stands for multi-purpose internet mail extensions. So what is this used for? MIME types form a standard way of classifying file types in the internet. So in order to send a file or receive a file through internet, each file will have some headers. We can call it as signatures that will detect the type of the file. For example, I have three files here so I can say file mime type and solo.png it gives image slash png so this is how mime types are represented so if I scroll down I can see 
text slash html and here there are some other file types and there is one more command you can use to have the same output that is xdg mime query file type solo.png this also gave the same output like image slash png so is it because it has a dot png extension so let me change the file type to something random so without any file extension so what's going to happen now i have this file which is asdf let's try to see the file type of this it also says image slash png even the xtg command shows the same thing so why is that this is because start of each file contains some headers so we call it as file signatures if you type in google list of file signatures you will get these values so these are actually starting of a type of a file for example if it is png png has these as a start of a image file so jpg will have something different so jpg has these as the start of a file so it depends on the file signature our system detects type of a file you can also see them in burp suit it looks something like this so i'm sending it to repeater so here if i scroll down i can see that this one is application xphp and if i type it for virus.php let's see file mime type virus.php you can see that it is text xphp so let's also try with xtg mime and let's see what it says xtg mime says it is application xphp so because of this it detects application xphp as content type and we have the code here and it is sent as a php file so in future for other file upload vulnerabilities you might have to change file names you might have to change content type you might have to even change the code itself so since you understood this part i'm going to try few different types of codes this time i'm going to change the code as php pass through i'm going to give a get request and in that get request i'm going to give something okay i can say hmca you can give anything you want so i'm going to end it with a semicolon and this so what is this code going to do i'll just show you so i'm going to create a new file i'm going to say file.php and i'm going to paste it here and save it so i'm going to upload this file right here choose file upload file.php and upload as you can see the file has been uploaded i'm going back to my account right click open image in new tab so there is nothing here so it is just a blank php file so what do we do with this sort of php so when we access this file here we are asking a get request as you can see in the burp suit as well when i call this file it is a get request so i said in the code if it is a get request and if a get request has this as the parameter then pass that value of the parameter as a shell code to the terminal so that is what pass through means so here i can say question mark hmca because i'm just keeping this as here and i'm going to keep equals to i can keep whatever command i want for example if i want to keep ls or i can just keep this part at the end of the url right here and hit enter and as you can see it just printed out the list of the files that are there which means our ls command has been executed our aim is to get this file right so to get this file what we have to do is simple all we have to do is execute a cat command so let me copy this part and say remove ls and use cat command and hit enter and as you can see it printed out the secret this type of code is very handy when you can directly execute system commands to get a reverse shell for example you can go to terminal and say ifconfig and grab that ip address go to revshells.com and paste your ip address over here and paste the port which you will be listening over here and copy this and listen in your terminal paste it and hit enter so currently we are listening again go back and copy this and directly go to the browser or i'll just paste it here 
and execute this. And this would give us a reverse shell. So here I am in a private network. I am not in the same network as the server or I am not in a public network. So I cannot get a reverse shell. I am in a private network. I am under a Wi-Fi. So this is how you can use it to get a reverse shell. So hope you enjoyed this one. Check the description for payloads and other resources. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.